New evidence suggesting that Kim Kardashian actually did hook up with Travis Barker has just resurfaced. Hey lovely people, Paris Hilton has allegedly spilled the tea, claiming that Kim Kardashian and Travis Barker had a secret rendezvous. Now, rewind to the time when Kim was supposedly loyal to Paris, serving as her assistant. According to Paris, Kim betrayed her in a classic Kardashian move, as they are infamous for going after their sister's significant others. As the story goes, Travis Barker and Paris Hilton were enjoying some quality time together when, out of the blue, Kim Kardashian entered the scene and disrupted the harmony. Kim, with her magnetic allure, reportedly managed to lure Travis into a secret affair, leaving a trail of shattered trust and broken friendships. This wouldn't be the first time Travis Barker allegedly succumbed to the Kim Kardashian charm. As far as we can remember, Travis had something fishy going on with Kim, and Travis's ex-wife Shanna has called out Kim a million times for sleeping with her husband. But what's shocking is how Travis, who once was rumored to be cheating on his wife with Kim, can't stand her now. Does this have to do with their shady history together? Or is Travis hiding his cheating scandal with his newly found hate for Kim? Let's find out. Shauna Mochler accused Travis of cheating on her with Kim Kardashian and she confessed that she wasn't relying on any rumors. Instead, she caught the two of them cheating on her with her own eyes. In an interview with US Weekly, Shauna said, I divorced my ex because I saw them. I caught them having an affair. Shauna alleged that they were hooking up while Travis was still married to her, and they were reworking their marriage. Rumor has it that they hooked up when Travis met Kim, who worked as Paris Hilton's assistant. Travis has also mentioned his encounter with Kim while she was the closet girl for Paris in his memoirs. Travis and Paris Hilton hooked up for a brief period, and according to Travis's book, that's when he got close to her. Travis said in the book, I kept on secretly checking out Kim, telling little Chris, I don't care if she's the closet girl, she's hot. He was describing how he checked Kim out while she accompanied Hilton and Travis on a trip to Amsterdam. According to Travis, he continued to be in contact with Kim after they returned to the US from the trip. They also went on dinners, and as much as people would think that he was involved with her romantically, he insists he was a total gentleman. Travis has refuted the cheating claims several times. In an interview with Us Weekly, he confessed, I had a crush on her and we were flirtatious, but nothing ever happened. She was so kind and polite. I just felt like being a perfect gentleman around her. But there's a major question. If it was all just an alleged hookup, why would Travis do something so serious? According to an insider source, Travis had engaged in a serious relationship after the Paris Hilton breakup, and things got pretty serious. But Travis was left heartbroken because he got serious and the girls weren't up for anything beyond a casual fling. While the source never gave any details about who this date was, it sounds like it was Kim because it was the same time that Kim has talked about in Travis's book, right after the Paris Hilton breakup. In his book, Travis also mentioned something about Shauna finding out about what was happening behind her back. After that, she met Kim at a party. He wrote in his book, Kim and I never touched each other. It just wasn't meant to be. Fans have their own theories about why Kim denies it. One fan said, he definitely slept with Kim and she hates that he didn't leave Shauna for her. Now Courtney has him and it kills her. Another fan theory is that Travis fell for her and she was using him for fame. According to Travis's book, Kim had been initiating this closeness and he was just following her lead. He mentioned that he gave her a lot of modeling offers while he was shooting for famous stars and straps. Shauna accused Kim of destroying her life, stating that Travis already had an affair with Paris Hilton and while he was with her, he also got close to Kim. This was the time when Kim started working as a model for his clothing company, Famous Stars and Straps. Shauna said she asked Travis not to use Kim as a model because she was close to Paris. Shauna revealed, we were working on our marriage and trying to heal through that affair, that infidelity, but he continued to work with her. But most recently, an old IG story shared by Danity Kane singer Aubrey O'Day confirmed that Kim and Travis were more than just friends. The story read, I was BFFs with Kim Kardashian during the fourth of July. She was hooking up with Travis Barker and we were at his house. He was really dope. According to insider sources, Travis wanted to take things seriously with the girl he dated after Paris, but she left him, which really broke him. He hates her to date and he can't even stay on the side of her. Kim's conduct towards Courtney during her pregnancy has been nothing short of disappointing. Although Kim is known for her confrontational demeanor, given the challenges Courtney faced in conceiving, she should have been more supportive. Courtney's journey to pregnancy was fraught with difficulties, including IVF treatments and significant hurdles. 
Earlier this year, she even underwent surgery to protect her life and her babies. However, instead of showing empathy and care, Kim chose to initiate a dispute upon Courtney's return from the hospital. Rather than offering flowers or support, Kim initiated a disagreement, making remarks about Courtney's children seeking her advice. Your kids have even come to me with problems that they have and how you are, so. Is that helpful? You're like adding it into a fight to like have a side like, it's you and my friends and my kids and everyone against me. This particular comment struck a sensitive nerve as Kim appeared to insinuate that Courtney was an inadequate mother and that Kim was superior. Such a conversation should never burden an expectant mother. However, the rift between Kim and Courtney had been simmering long before this incident. On one occasion, Courtney was discussing her reluctance to endure mistreatment from her own family with Chloe when Kim interjected, declaring Courtney the least appealing to look at. While Courtney asserted her refusal to tolerate mistreatment, Kim's behavior transpired, transcended mere verbal jabs. At Courtney's wedding to Travis Barker in May 2022, Kim displayed evident resentment throughout the ceremony. Despite the enchanting ambiance, Kim seemed incapable of fully embracing the moment, repeatedly redirecting conversations to focus on her own wedding, which crossed a significant boundary. You know, when I was walking down the aisle in Italy, I kind of had the long train. I was so nervous that I was either gonna like come back, then I, I watched. Vision turned particularly uncomfortable during Travis Sun's speech. As he stood up to express gratitude towards Courtney and acknowledged her as an exceptional mother, Kim interrupted, urging him to tone it down. The last few months, I've really gotten to know you so well and grown so much love for you. You look out for me like a mother and always have had my back. I really think you have filled the empty spot in my heart so well and have shown me great morals and have taught me so much. Together, you guys show what true love looks like and it's truly inspiring to all of us. We are blessed to be around you guys and the amazing energy you guys give to all of us. It was an unnecessary intervention that marred a heartfelt moment. Many fans speculated that jealousy might be the underlying cause of Kim's behavior. Courtney couldn't help but notice everything that transpired on that significant day and decided to address it with Kim months later. However, their conversation didn't go well. If you, you hate us, you, you're a different person, we all talk and about I it. I don't need you guys anymore. When Courtney attempted to discuss the matter, Kim flatly denied any wrongdoing, refusing to acknowledge Courtney's perspective or feelings. Kim's response was dismissive, brushing off Courtney's concerns with a nonchalant, it's not that original, everyone does it. This response only exacerbated the tension between them. Courtney expressed her disappointment, highlighting Kim's inability to handle someone else being in the spotlight even at her own wedding. You cannot stand someone else being the center of attention. You came to my wedding, you couldn't be happy. You complained from the second we got there till the second we left. That's what it's about. Forget about it. you couldn't be happy. You couldn't be happy for me. You couldn't be happy that I was the center of attention. Despite Courtney's efforts to support and celebrate Kim, Kim's actions continued to disappoint. To add insult to injury, Kim organized a campaign blatantly copied from Courtney's wedding concept, showing a lack of respect and originality. She extended an invitation to Courtney for the event, which Courtney declined. Nevertheless, Courtney took the opportunity to address the issue of her idea being copied by Kim. Not about business, it's just there's so much and it takes precedence over hurting your sister. It's just legit copying my wedding. like. Everything that I did was like pulling like references of like 90s. Like it's just like it's stupid because it's the deeper thing that it's about. It's grabbing whatever's in the way. It's like such an abundance, so like an excess. Like it's never enough. It's never like just okay to like not do something or turn something down because it doesn't make sense. However, once again, Kim denied any wrongdoing and shifted the blame onto Courtney accusing her of jealousy. Perhaps Kim needs to recognize that she isn't the center of everything and that Courtney is an individual in her own right, successful in her own regard. Unfortunately, Courtney's challenges extend beyond Kim. Even her own mother, Kris Jenner, hasn't been supportive. A few months ago, during a critical moment when Courtney was rushed to the hospital for surgery, Kris was absent instead of offering comfort to her daughter. Kris arrived with a camera crew, seemingly prioritizing her business engagements over her daughter's well-being. Fans viewed this as a typical move for the Jenner family matriarch, who often seizes opportunities even if it means capitalizing on her children's private moments for a moment in the spotlight. However, Courtney didn't allow her the chance to proceed. She directly confronted her mother, firmly expressing her disapproval. This assertive response from Courtney might have surprised Chris, who is accustomed to having things go her way. Fans believe it's high time for Courtney to assert her independence and establish a new way of living, 
free from Chris's influence. Courtney's newfound confidence and empowerment significantly influence her decision making process. In a surprising turn of events, it's now clear why Courtney chose not to inform Chris about her initial pregnancy. Chris discovered the news through the internet, just like everyone else. This departure from the usual Kardashian household protocol, where everything typically goes through Chris, left fans surprised. Speculations from fans suggest that Courtney grew weary of her mom's relentless pursuit of fame and popularity leading her to opt for a more independent path and intentionally cutting Chris out of certain aspects of her life. Sources close to the family reveal that Courtney has been keeping certain aspects of her life hidden from Chris for quite some time. This newfound independence is commendable, signaling a shift where the Kardashian siblings are beginning to liberate themselves from their mother's tight control. There's a growing sentiment questioning how long Chris intends to micromanage her kids' lives or profit from their endeavors. It's a moment for Chris to seriously reflect, because if she continues down this path, she might risk growing distant from her children, perhaps except for Kim, who appears to be mirroring her mother's actions. Given the circumstances, Courtney has made it clear to her family that she needs space. With the arrival of her new baby son, Courtney desires to focus on caring for her child, anticipating Chris's potential attempts to capitalize on this moment. Meanwhile, it seems Kim might be searching for ways to steal the limelight from her sister. The dynamic between these two emits nothing but toxic energy, which isn't conducive to what Courtney requires at this moment. What she truly needs is love and positivity, particularly as she navigates this crucial phase in her life with her new baby. These moments are fleeting, and she shouldn't have them tarnished by family conflicts. The silver lining is that Travis has been steadfast in supporting Courtney's choices. During the altercation between Courtney and Kim regarding her children, Travis stood by her side, endorsing her decision to temporarily distance herself from her family. What are your thoughts on this situation? Please share them in the comments section below. Do you think it was Kim? What do you really think happened between Kim and Travis? Was it really a casual hookup? Let us know in comments and don't forget to check out this juicy video.